Hi, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. In today's reading, we'll take a look and see what the Tarot Guides would like for you to know, what messages they hold for you. As always, it's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everyone watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email address will be listed below the video. really drawn to the world card here for you the bottom of the deck you have the star and the star brings in a beautiful energy of healing and transformation what's happening right now for a lot of you i feel like you're closing a chapter okay i feel like water signs are on the verge of a precipice you are welcoming a new beginning a new cycle you're closing some chapters, you're tying up some loose ends, and you might be removing certain people, certain um, energies from your life, and you're making space for something brand new. Something that feels like it's something that you've been waiting for, it's something that you've been wishing for. But you know, what's very interesting here is that this is something... Especially with the star card, because I feel like for some of you, you've been wishing upon stars, right? You've been sending off your wishes out into the um, night sky. And it's something that you've been wanting um, very strongly, something that you've been manifesting. And it's it almost has this energy of you waiting for the right time. You're waiting for the right time to start something, to start this chapter or to start this new beginning, or you're waiting for the right time to start a new project of some sort, or, you know, you're waiting for the right time to um, to take action, to make a move here. Whatever it is, it just feels like you've been putting it at a distance, but you've always held space for this very thing or this very person in your heart and in your life. You've always had space for this very um, energy. And what's happening now, some of you, it feels like, Either the time is here, or some of you, for some of you, it feels like you're growing tired of waiting, and you're making the time work for you, okay? So instead of waiting for that right moment, or the right time, or the right, you know, circumstances, or you're waiting for the stars and the planets to align, it feels like you're making thing, you're making the time work for you, you're making, you know, you're making the time right for you. So some of you have are growing fatigued and you're growing tired and maybe frustrated of waiting for something, waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to manifest. And it feels like you're taking things into your own hands. But at the same time, at the same time, what's happening is that the universe is responding to this energy. It's responding to this confidence. It's responding to this very positive energy that you're putting out there this vibration that you're putting out there because the, here's the thing about wishing a lot of people just wish and then that's it you know they wish for things to get better or they wish to have this or they wish to have that or they wish to start this or they wish to start that but they they never pair their wishing with actions you know with actions with intentions it's like it's not enough to wish and here's the thing, you know this, well, the signs, you know that it's not enough to just wish. You know that you have to take action. And for quite some time, you've kind of been sitting on this wish. You've kind of been sitting on this intention, this manifestation, and you've sort of been waiting for it to fall in your lap. Or, uh, you know, as we spoke about earlier, you've sort of been waiting for the right time. But now it just feels like you're a little tired of waiting. You're a little tired of just sitting around, twiddling your thumbs, waiting for everything to work out or waiting for the stars and the planets to align. Now it feels like you're taking action. 
and a wonderful thing happens when you decide to take action okay it doesn't matter you know it doesn't have to be any drastic action you don't have to change you know you don't have to go out there and change the world or you don't have to change things overnight it, it doesn't work that way um, small change even baby steps is better than no action at all you know than taking nothing no steps no action and what hap a wonderful thing happens here the universe is responding to your vibration the universe is responding to this energy where you know you do deserve you believe that you deserve your happiness you believe that you deserve this wish and you believe that you know you have everything within you to make this wish come true to make this dream come true and the universe loves this energy and the universe is responding to this energy very positively you are moving forward the next couple of weeks the next couple of months you are moving forward in life you could be moving forward in different areas of your life so not just you know in um, love and romance or in career and relationships or even in finances things are moving forward and it's all because you have decided to take action because with the Queen of Swords, I feel like there's a moment here where you're going to get really honest with yourself. Or it may stem from a conversation you have with yourself or a conversation that you have with um, a very close connecting energy. But there's some sort of truth that's being spoken. You get really honest about where you're at. See, where you're at might not be where you want to be. And you suddenly devise a plan on how to get to where you want to go. Um, I just don't know. It feels like you take on this Queen of Swords energy or there is a connecting energy around you here who might be an air sign, okay? Someone very close, so a, a Gemini, Aquarius, and a, or a Libra. Someone who they they spit the truth, okay? And they don't hold back. They're not out to hurt your feelings, but they're very truthful and they're very honest in what they say. And someone might say something here that may feel a little bit uncomfortable to you water signs but the thing is um, what they say will hit a nerve okay will strike a chord with you and um, there's something here that they say that is going to um, lead you to sort of reassess where you're at in life it's going to re you know it's going to you're going to reassess maybe your plans your goals your dreams or you know um, how you your time management how you spend your time your days and you're going to get really honest with yourself about something here. And once you get honest about whatever this is, things change because you shift perspective. You suddenly begin to see things differently or from a different angle. Um, and I feel like there's something here that's changing for you. But ultimately, this these changes, they start with you because if you start um you it's because you step into this energy where you start getting really honest with yourself about something here there's something here that's coming to an end for you or there's something here that you've been working on and you know what this is this feels like something that's you've been working on for a long time it could be like a project um something that you've been working on here tirelessly you're putting this out into the world there's this energy of you either you're showing it to someone so you're showing your work to someone or you're putting it on display you might be getting recognition you might be getting praise for this but this is something that's very close to your heart and it's something that you've been working on for i'm gonna say maybe even years it could have been, yeah, years, because it just feels like it's a long time. And you are so proud. You're very proud, because whatever this is, it's close to your heart. And it finally gets the recognition. It finally sees the success that this very project or this very thing, or if it's a book or a screenplay or an, you know, an artistic piece of some sort. Because you guys are creative energies, very creative. And something that's very close, near and dear to your heart, and I feel like maybe for some of you, you've been holding back on this thing because it's such a big part of you. And the thing is, I feel like you've been reworking it because you've been trying to get it perfect. 
and you've been trying to polish it each and every time or you've been hiding it away from the world because you've you're scared to put it out there and you're scared because you know that this is an extension of you and if you put it out there you feel like you're going to get judged or you feel like it's you know you're like exposing yourself in some way right you feel like you're all of a sudden you're just yeah it's such an extension of you that you feel very vulnerable and you kind of been hiding it you've been keeping it away from the world um, but i think you're finally because of this confidence this newfound confidence that i see in your energy and this conf like this you wanting to take action you wanting to you know move forward and move ahead in life because of this energy that you're st stepping into um you finally feel ready. You finally feel ready to give this thing one last polish. Or you finally feel ready to show it to someone. To get feedback. Or to enter it into some sort of competition. Or, you know, to pass it on to someone. Um, you finally feel ready to set this out into the world. And when you do, you'll get a very positive response. You'll get a few people who, are, who would be very interested in what you're presenting here you, you might even get like a few offers or i see like praises and recognition for whatever this project or whatever this is for you and you're you feel like you're riding high you feel like you're on top of the world and this project is opening up doors this, this project is part of this new cycle this new chapter that it lies in waiting for you and it's opening up doors for you because it may kick start a whole new career or it may trigger you to you know um become this this artist that you've always wanted to to become or step into this artistic and creative energy you've always embodied it opens up doors for you doors where you feel like you, you'd never thought that you'd pass through these doors it's a wonderful a wonderful new chapter and this has so much to do with this new chapter that's coming in for you you're working very hard over these next few weeks over these next few months your energy feels very focused laser focused okay um, especially when it comes to work here you're you're not messing around there's a lot of movement in the energies here okay so you're you're doing a lot you're putting in a lot of work you're putting in a lot of energy you're putting in a lot of time and effort into a project or into your job your career or, or into um a diy here you're putting a lot of energy into something and it's it's giving back okay it's whatever this is it's giving back okay there's a project that is nearing its completion here a project that will see success a project that will open up doors for you there is a chapter that's beginning for you here and there's also something that i feel like there's a lot of movement um, as part of this new chapter i feel like um some of your water signs might be moving okay you might be moving homes or residences you might be moving into a new stepping into a new job or a new role um i did say like a new home uh or you could be moving even uh like countries you might land an offer that's overseas and it might require that you travel or that you live abroad for a while or you study abroad because there's this there's a lot of newness here and it ties in with a new chapter and this energy of moving ties in very closely with this new chapter because it's like you're finally done with something and you're you've got the space in your life to start something else or you've got the space in your life to invite something else and then once you know you're finally like you close one chapter you end one relationship or you end one job or you complete one project um some of you are worrying about like what's next okay what do you do with all this time or what do you do with yourself now you don't have to stress about that because the next thing will come along and it will come along soon after you close the chapter on something here okay so don't don't stress because it kind of will work itself out in the end and i just see things lining up for you very very nicely over these next few weeks over these next few months here So keep focused, keep doing what you're doing, do, you know, do more of what it is that you're doing. 
you're very focused, you're very energetic, um, you're doing well here and keep up, keep up this good work because it's paying, it's paying off and whatever it is that you've been wishing here for, see the, the word wish is coming through so strongly, whatever it is that you've been wishing for, um, you're finally going after it, it's not that you weren't go going after it before, well you kind of were but you weren't, it's like you know, you, you desire this with such a strong, desirous energy, whatever this is, but see, that's not enough. And you kind of never really took action. You might have taken action, but maybe not enough of it. But now it's like you're full, you're really, you're set on finally, you know, fulfilling this wish for yourself. You're set on finally going after this wish, this dream. And there is this wish coming true, but it only comes true because you do something about it. If that makes sense you know this this wish this manifestation this intention you know it's not enough to just want it you have to take the necessary action and you finally realize that and it's finally you know it's finally he it's finally he because you you have taken or you are taking um, the action all the necessary action to get this wish Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for your time, your energy, your attention. Bye for now, and good luck with that wish.